Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. In this um, short video, we're going to have a look at mealybugs on Phalaenopsis plants. They are a relatively frequently occurring pest and they have a habit of getting in certain places. So as I've actually got some on this plant, I don't have many bugs, so it's difficult for me to do a bug video when I haven't got any to show you. Whereas this time I have, so I thought we'll take advantage and we'll have a look at the little blighters. If I can, I'm hoping to take a still off of this video, take it into my photo editing software and blow it up. Not, not that sort of blow up. <laughs> blow it up big enough so that you might be able to get a reasonable look at the little blighters. Although, as bugs go, these are not the smallest by any means. Um, right, so, first of all, if you get mealy bugs, you've got choices as to how to deal with them. You can pick them off by hand, you can get some cotton wool buds and some rubbing alcohol, 70% rubbing alcohol, and hook them off with the cotton wool buds soaked in the alcohol. Um, that should uh, pull them off and kill them at the same time. You can get them off by hand and squish them. So you've got a lot of choices. But depending on how bad it is, a systemic um, bug treatment is probably best. Unfortunately, they get on your blooms. Some chemical sprays may discolour your blooms, so you take a risk, yeah? And oh, that's all I'm going to say, you take the risk. I've got away with those, I mean, the, the sprays that I'm just going to go over now, I've used all of those on blooms, physically on the blooms, you know? And got away with it. It didn't knock the blooms off, didn't kill the blooms, didn't shorten their life, and it got rid of the bugs. So. Right, how do you tell it if it's a systemic? You read the label basically and it says house plant bug killer. That implies it's safe to use indoors. Yeah? Protects for up to two weeks. It can only do that if it gets on the plant and sort of gets into the plant at the same time. But have a good read of the label. Again, systemic. Yeah? Kills bugs, prevents further attacks, yeah, and a list of things that it can uh, deal with. This, however, is safe, non-toxic, is not much more than a soap mixed in with um, <laughs> whatever, I don't know. But it's a soapy wash, basically. It kills by suffocation. Very safe to use, no harmful chemicals, but it isn't systemic. It will only kill the bugs that it gets on and suffocates. If there are eggs lying around and they hatch, they will be safe and survive. Whereas with this, they probably won't. With this, they probably won't. So this is not a systemic. This is a surface spray and a suffocating type of uh, mix. But very, very safe, no harmful chemicals. So those are the three jobbies that I've got. If you get bugs and you've got what I call an outbreak and one treatment's not going to get rid of the lot, when you do your second treatment, if you can, use a different chemical. Rotate, yeah? Um, that'll stop any um, uh, resistance to the spray you're using. So if you can, have more than one. Right, mealybugs, what do they look like? Um, they look like little bits of cotton wool. Um, so they, then, they're actually quite well hidden because they can look like part of the bloom depending on what colour your bloom is. <laughs> if your bloom is dark purple, they'll stick out like a sore thumb. However, if it's a white bloom, they're virtually invisible because they are white or very, very, very pale grey. Those are them there. Yeah, you've got your three petals and the two sepals. 
and that big fat mealy bug is on that sepal between those two petals. There's another one in the lip there. When you see them not tucked away, they have a tail. Now I'm hoping that everything's in focus because I can't concentrate on what I'm filming and what's on my screen. Um, and as I said, if I can, I will actually blow up um, one of the pictures that I've got as a video. Now if you take this bloom over here, there are lots on the back of that bloom and there you can see the sort of shape that they are. They do have a long tail, yeah, but you can only see it when they're stretched out. And again, a huge one there, yeah. So you can see the sort of places they get on the blooms. And if I turn this, that heavily infested bloom there, woo -hoo! I'm drop the whole plant then, we try and steady it again. If you come round to the front of that bloom, there's another one there on the front of the bloom. I suspect there's some in the lip. Yes, there's some inside the lip as well. Right, so what I've got to do, oh, look, look in that lip, look at that. Totally infested. Now I'm going to try and hold that still. I'm going to try and get a blown up picture of that. Because when there's lots together, they just look like a bit of a cotton wool mass. So we'll try and blow that one up. If I manage to do this with trickery, the pop-ups of the you know, expanded views will, will come up as I'm talking about them. Now where was that other, that little set on the back? Let's see if we can hold still on there. That's a good one. Let's see, let's see if we can, let's see if we can blow that up. Because that shows the, um, the shape and everything. Right, so that's where they get on the blooms. They will also get in the cracks of any branches. They will also get on your buds farther down the stem. So that's where they get on the blooms. What about on the plant? They will get on the undersides of leaves, often on the edges. Yeah? Those are juveniles. They haven't long hatched. So they haven't grown into the big fluffy things yet. Yeah? But they will get underneath leaves. So I'm just trying to find some more here. Where else do they get? Around the base of the plant where the roots come out. You can possibly see a couple at the very base of the plant. They'll get right down in there at the base of old flower spikes. Yeah? And they will get in between leaves, as you can see there. Yeah? And they will also, on Phalaenopsis, get right in the crown. There's juveniles down there, look. Yeah? And down there. Yeah? And when you get a nice shiny new leaf come up, it is incredibly fragile and if you've got bugs of any sort, they will attack that new leaf. And when it forms, it will probably still carry on growing, but it will not be fully formed. It will have some form of deformity. There's another one on the edge of the leaf there. So there we go. That's what mealy bugs look like on a Phalaenopsis. You have to bear in mind that on different types of orchids they could look different simply because of where the flowers are um, and the shape they are um, and in addition to that they might not be so easy to spot because of the colours now on the green leaves they're quite easy to spot if you think of dendrobium canes some of the older canes on your nobilies perhaps what colour are they? They're a sort of straw colour, aren't they? With little bits of green in places. Yeah? And you've got places where leaves used to be, leaving like a little stubby bit. Places where flowers used to be, leaving a little stubby bit. They'll get there. 
and they're almost invisible against that background colour. So uh, keep your eye out for the little blighters. In the kitchen I have mealybugs, they're not in the grow room. And um, I brought this plant out here to spray it and I can't spray it, I'm not spraying it in here because I don't like the smell, I need to take it outside and do it. And you hear that noise? We're all used to that noise, aren't we? It woke me up this morning at about 10 to 5. It was doing it then and it's doing it now and we're heading towards lunchtime. It's been raining all morning just for a change really have had enough of rain um, anyway so uh, that's a look at some mealy bugs a look at the sort of things you can do to get rid of them um, and what I would suggest with mealy bugs is when you spot them deal with them and that applies to all bugs on your orchids when you see them deal with them now I saw these on Friday I've had to wait till Tuesday because I've been busy doing stuff <laughs> But it is possible there are a few mealy bugs on some of the other Phalaenopsis in the kitchen. But this is the only one that's grown a spike and come into bloom. And they've attacked the spike, basically. That's why they're on most of the blooms. Whereas most of the other Phalaenopsis haven't got spikes. They're not in bloom. They're just green. And um, I don't see any on those. And if there are, there are very, very few. In theory, I should spray the whole lot, every single one, and then come back as instructed on these um, systemics and do them again after the appropriate interval and try and get rid of the mealy bugs once and for all. But from past experience, even with systemics, some mealy bugs will often survive in one of their forms and even depending on how strong the chemical is and how good it is and how old it is possibly they will survive the spray even directly on them because they have a coating they have a waxy coating and that coating will repel liquid it won't repel rubbing alcohol that dissolves them, basically goes straight through their waxy coating and you've got them, yeah? But obviously that's a fiddly thing. I wouldn't recommend spraying your whole plant or your blooms with 70% rubbing alcohol. Don't say Roger told me to spray the whole plant because I didn't. Cotton wool bud, dab, 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 poke, 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 not spray the whole plant. <laughs> uh. Right, so there we go. Um, I don't very often get to do bug type videos because I don't get the bugs. And there's no point, you can talk about them but it's not the same as actually seeing them. Where they are, where they live, where they get, where they tuck away. Now I'd love to be able to do the same sort of video with scale. But I think I've got rid of them at long last after about, well it must be at least five or six years I've had scale. And they've actually lost me some plants, they've actually killed plants. So um, they attacked my telumnias and I lost quite a few of them because they get right down in the leaf base, which is, they're a monopodial type orchid, a bit like, like a tiny little vanda. Uh, um, and they get right down in the leaf joints at the base of the plant and chew at that base. And the leaves fall off and the plant dies. So uh, yeah, keep your eye out for your bugs. Use a suitable treatment and keep on top of them. Don't believe they're gone until you haven't seen any for months and months. Then you can believe they're gone. And then you might get some new ones in. It's a battle, we, we, you know, it's a battle we, we, we have to deal with. Um, even in a sealed place you can still bring them in on a new plant. So um, um, the only other Phalaenopsis I've got in bloom I actually bought in from the show on Saturday. Well, I'm assuming it's bug free. It might not be. I haven't had a good look at it yet. But this one has definitely got bugs and um, I will be treating it as soon as the rain stops. So there we go and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for dropping by.